first off, I want to welcome all the new subscribers to the channel. We're almost at 4,500. That is freaking awesome. I know it's just a number, but it means quite a bit to me. Oh, there they are. Power company. I, had, I have no power at the house since yesterday. Late night. There's been a lot that's been going on. A wildfire broke out about three miles west of here. We're going to check that out in a second. Breaking news at 930. Updates on the closure out at US 36. Both directions are shut down right now near Estes Park. Now the Forest Service, firefighters, and local fire departments are responding to the area. Let's get rolling. And of course, a huge thank you for all of you that stuck around since the beginning. We're gonna make a left. We are so, so fortunate. This wildfire didn't get out of control. We had wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour some lawn furniture and it was bad I mean it, it was bad we were we were getting close to well we were getting ready to evacuate we're gonna, we're gonna figure out the power issue yeah we were getting ready to evacuate the area it's literally just three miles west of here where the fire broke out it's not official yet but the cause was most likely a down power line. Fire broke out at about 7 p.m. last night. We do have a local volunteer fire station. They were first on the scene. We had another local volunteer fire station respond from Big Elk just to the left of me. And I believe Estes Park responded as well and Lions. So they jumped on this thing. They, they knew the risk with the high wind. It is early spring. There's still a lot of moisture on the ground, thankfully. And that definitely helped in containing this. Just to the left right here, mile marker 10. I'm gonna flip around, we're gonna take a look. I really don't think it got larger than about two acres. Smell it. Smell that char. They were saying in the reports that it was two acres. This is not two acres. Looks like they contained it fairly well. Kept it on this side. You can see there's still a bunch of snow down by the creek. Power lines up. Not really sure what could have caused this. Possibly a cigarette butt. When we get back to the bike, we'll just do a little cruise down the hill. Very, very fortunate. We didn't jump the highway and keep on traveling up the mountainside. A lot of excitement last night. <laughs> Not only do we have the wildfire start at 7, power goes out around 9 30 10. Flashlights, candles in the house. We're not getting any updates on the on the fire. Once the power goes out, these 5G towers they put up are useless because those go those go out as well, so there's no cell service. We do have an emergency landline phone that we can hook up and that was out I don't ever remember that happening that's super rare and of course I've been kind of slacking on the YouTube work just got super busy so I figured I could just get a little short video out to you guys let you know what's going on I did install this cool USB plug with a voltmeter bought that off Amazon and it's pretty solid I didn't shoot a video on the install, but I found a fantastic video of how to install that on YouTube. I'll put a link down in the description box below if you guys 
or interested in something like that on your T7. And I'll put a link in the description box as well for this, for this plug with the fault meter. Yeah, still no power. I can tell because we have no cell service. They put up these ridiculous looking 5G towers. There's one. We'll see another one just up ahead. There's about 30 of those in this canyon. They're beta testing those. It kind of feels like old tech to me. I and mean, we got Elon Musk with those freaking satellites flying around. And we still have to dig the fiber optic cables and put up towers. So other than the little USB plug on the bike, not much has changed. I did install my quad lock. I transferred it over from the 1190 to this bike with the charger. I'm gonna still use my phone on the highways with the vibration dampener. I think it should be just fine, but when I'm gonna be going off-road, I'll throw the phone in my pocket and use the Carpuride iPlay unit. I'm really itching to go out on a trip. I just don't know if I can pull it right now. Work's been so busy. I'm gonna think it may be Moab. I'm only about 400 miles to Moab. I'm about a full day trip six hours another truck from the power company another ridiculous looking tower I'm not sure what the hell this guy's doing pull over fiberglass covers on the top but those are blown off with the high winds I don't even know how many millions of dollars they spent on this project on the left side of the highway you can see they, they cut into the asphalt to lay the fiber optic cable so coming up on the channel I'm really hoping to push out some more riding vids the weather's getting much nicer the trail should be opening shortly. All right, we finally got some cell service closer to town. What's the weather looking like? All right, we got 50s, mid 50s all the way up to Thursday. Next weekend is looking primo, 70, 70, 69 high. So we'll do a little, a little bike trip next weekend. Let's just hope for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this little short update video. I'll catch you in the next one.